difference between science and technology? And is there a difference between the scientific and the technological mind? Science, to me, science studies what is. Technology creates what never has been. It is the intersection of the two where I think we have potential problems. But I read a story once when, and I think it was Fermi out in his lab in Chicago, developed the first completely reproducible, sustainable nuclear reaction in his lab. And he looked at his assistant and said, Dear God, what have we just done? I think that was Enrico Fermi that said that. I'm not, don't, don't hold me to that, but I'm almost positive. And the fact is that up until that point, it was science. And this is what, what, what Fermi said later. Up until that point, it was investigation. But once we're able to do something, then he started to think, uh-oh, what are we going to do with this? Who should be running the technological society? Who should the decision makers be in a technological society? Should it be the technocrats, the engineers, the scientists? Should it be the non-engineers, people that know nothing about engineering? I always go back to a, a standard comment that, do you know how many engineers are in the US Congress? At last count, I think four. And one of them we count, but he's really a physicist. Because Vonnegut is on record as thinking that technology was the ruling class's way of perpetuating their superiority above the lower classes. Are we really that content? Or are we being convinced that you should be content because we have all of this stuff? Than it was. I think we lose interest in things today, and I do believe this may have something to do with technology and the advance of technology and technology design. I think it's much faster. I think we lose patience much quicker. I think we lose interest much quicker. I think our attention span is just atrocious anymore. My parents moved to Easton in 1948. They lived in a half a double. Roof leaked. Heating system didn't work bugs on a dirt floor in the basement. Through the years, my father got promoted and promoted. They, bought, they built the big house, as we called it, this humongous house on College Hill. My mother had the first microwave. My father had the first modem. We had the first color television in the neighborhood. We had all of this stuff. But yet my mother, later on in her life, kept talking about the good old days. And my father said, Peggy, why were they good old days? That uh, 123 McCartney Street was the address that they lived. It was a dump. We didn't have anything. We had nothing. And my mother's comment was, no, Charlie, I had you and the three boys. I think it just goes to show the insatiable nature of humans, and I don't think it's limited to just technology. The more, I think, contentment in itself dies with knowledge, with technology, with enlightenment. Contentment, enlightenment, and drive. Are they mutually exclusive?